welcome to Just Us Friends, and this is one of our meditation videos. And our hope is that by coming and spending a moment or two doing a meditation with us, this will be a reminder to you to build meditation into your life eventually. Our lives are living meditation all the time so that the clarity of our highest self, our wisdom self, our true self, is what we live at all times and to offer the highest gift that we have to give to all beings. Now, oftentimes people say, I don't know what my true self is or how to live my highest self. And so a meditation like this can be a little bit of a mirror or a reminder to know who we really are. When we look in an ordinary mirror at our ordinary self, we often reinforce for ourselves who our ego thinks we are. And we look at that face in the mirror and maybe say, oh, we're getting too old, or maybe we're looking particularly handsome that day, it reminds us of who our ordinary self is. How can we be reminded of who our highest self is and our true self? Well, in every way, we often attract to us feel an attraction for what are reminders for various aspects of ourselves. And the same is true of our highest self and our true self, who we admire or appreciate or have faith in, whether it's a religious tradition or a spirituality, or in a way that awakens our awe and our deep sense of a profound experience of the world and who we are, all are reflections, mirrors of our true self. Perhaps we don't see our own self with quite so much clarity, but where we focus our attention to bring us inspiration or to bring us faith is, in a sense, a mirror of our highest self, our true self. So it might be that there is a picture of Christ or Buddha or some spiritual figure it may be a symbol, it may be an animal, it may be a place, it may be something that you have faith in. Whatever it may be for you, consider that that is a glimpse, a peak, an opportunity to know your true self. And so that's the first step, is to begin embracing that reflection of your wisdom, that reflection of your manifestation of truth. To work with this in a meditation is to place that image, that visualization, that expression of yourself, perhaps over your head, or in your heart, or even to see you fully embodying that image. If you see yourself, for example, as a deity, or as a totem, or as a teacher that you admire, like Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Jesus, 
truly see yourself as a manifestation of this teacher and guide. And by placing them in your heart, or by seeing yourself sitting there with them, having a conversation, a dynamic living being, or together, one with you, you are awakening, filling yourself with the vital energy that they embody and that they are a reflection of for you. Feel their energy as your energy. Feel their wisdom as your wisdom. Let yourself hear their words as your guidance. Feel them as a vehicle for awakening your self, your highest self, and you're becoming, you're living that energy. Meditate that whoever comes to you as a vehicle for your faith, for your inspiration, for your knowing of all that's sacred, feel that resting now in your heart. Feel that energy is alive and dynamic, stirring you into your own awakening, your own becoming. Fill your body and your heart and your mind with the knowing that you are this highest self becoming, manifesting, offering all that you have to give. Feel yourself as one with this energy that gives you faith. That gives you wisdom guidance. That is the vehicle for your highest manifestation. Let that energy speak to you. To love you. To support you on your journey. And as you get up from this meditation, feel this energy alive in you, always. And whenever you forget who you really are, come back and do this meditation again, and again and again until you know truly your highest self.